Why are we so concerned about the pathology, about this oxygen carrying capacity? So let's just let's look at what is the content of oxygen carried and how it's actually delivered and why we are so bothered about this low hemoglobin level. The left part of the slide you have what happens in normal people. So oxygen is carried in hemoglobin and it's carried in dissolved oxygen which is a very small percentage. So what is main is your oxygen in hemoglobin, right? I think you all agree with that. So this is the content of arterial, arterial oxygen content is hemoglobin times 1.37 which is the Huffner's constant into the saturation divided by 100 plus 0 0.0034 into partial pressure of oxygen. This is how we calculate the arterial oxygen content. The dissolved oxygen is 0.3 ml per 100 ml which is a very very small part uh, in the whole amount of oxygen that is carried. So when a person is actually breathing air which is 21% oxygen, the value is 21.1 ml per deciliter approximately. Okay, So we are looking at 21.1 ml carried by the hemoglobin and the delivery would be cardiac output into this content which is 5 liters per minute into 21.1 which gives about 1055 ml per minute of oxygen being delivered to the tissues. Okay, So this is in a human being who has 15 grams hemoglobin, breathing air with a normal uh, oxygen uh, capacity and good cardiac output, you actually get about 1055 ml per minute of oxygen. Okay, Is that clear? And but what is oxygen consumption in a normal patient? You get about 250 to 270 ml per minute. Okay, So you actually have a good amount of leeway between here. By the time the oxygen goes here and reaches the cells, you actually uh, can ensure that uh, the cells all get enough amount of oxygen for them to survive and look at the cellular function. Okay, So here we are looking at the normal level. What happens in anemia? Okay, so we are looking at every part of this may be affected. As the hemoglobin drops, the content of uh, oxygen in the artery actually drops. The cardiac output so strives to increase because this content in this equation is dropping, the cardiac output is actually striving hard to increase the delivery. And what about the need? The need is actually more. So you're delivering less, uh, you're trying to compensate more to deliver. But on the other hand, the consumption is actually more by the baby and the mother. So this is where the mismatch actually happens in anemia. And this is why an ideal hemoglobin level is very essential to ensure appropriate oxygen delivery. As we all know, oxygen is the bottom line requirement of any cell to function, for the mother to function, for the baby to be alive and thrive. So it's very important for us to know what the hemoglobin levels are and how to optimize. Yes, so this is the bottom line answer that you need to know for why anemia is significant and why we need to correct it. So let's look at the oxygen dissociation curve. Uh, uh, just look at this left part of the slide, this graph. On the x-axis, you have partial pressure of oxygen in millimeters of mercury. On the y-axis, you have the percentage of hemoglobin saturation. Okay, You should be uh, absolutely thorough with this graph because it's a bottom line of anesthetist uh, physiology knowledge. Okay.